for which number c is this matrix not invertible and why not okay uh, we could solve this by inspection by looking at it and uh, figuring out what right c's would make a matrix does not have an inverse um, or uh, first I figure maybe I should usually the matrix does not have an inverse when its determinant is zero so I could probably figure out the determinant set it equal zero that'll give me a value of c's the exact value of c's that would make this determinant zero which means the matrix not invertible and then put this into context and tell you why each corresponding value of c would in retrospect make this matrix non-invertible um, uh, by just like analyzing it without having to do the determinant uh, but uh, let me let me let me let me first get the determinant and then uh, I'll explain so uh, the determinant here is uh, let's go uh, down uh, down this uh, column here so it's 2 uh, C C there's many ways to find the determinant this is one of them uh, minus C so I'm going down so what I did is 2 uh, then uh, uh, when I took this 2 and then I hide the row and the column that the 2 is in and then uh, whatever remaining matrix goes here and then I go down now I'm done with B I go down to C and I do the same exact thing uh, so and then the I get C C 7 C except I have a negative sign on the C so it goes my plus minus plus this is the quick way for finding the determinant I have other videos where I elaborate on finding determinants more if anyone is interested so plus 8 doing the same on the third column entry uh, and then we will be left with C C C C okay and now we find the determinant of this and multiply it by 2 so this is cross multiply C times C is C squared minus 7 C so T 2 times C squared minus 7 C I move on here and I do the same thing C squared minus 7 C plus 8 into C squared minus C squared will get me 0 so this guy will go away uh, notice here the way to go since I'm setting this equal 0 to see what values make the 0 therefore the matrix not have an inverse it's better not to it's better to factor so I could factor out C squared minus 7 C uh, from both of these groups so I will have 2 minus C left equals 0 uh, and then uh, I could factor out a C C times C minus 7 uh, times 2 minus C equals 0 so uh, either C equals 0 uh, or uh, C equals 7 or C equals 2 okay so so for any one of these values of C this matrix will not have an inverse now let's put things in retrospect and see how could we have figured this out without looking at the determinant let's start with C equals 0 well look if C equals 0 then this matrix becomes 2 0 0 uh, 0 0 0 8 7 0 well if one of the rows is zero that makes the determinant zero because if if I if I go into finding the determinant through one of these rows and if one of them is zero that means the entire determinant will be zero therefore C equals zero because it's making this row here zero it clearly does not make this have an inverse now if C is 7, let's see what happens with the 7. We get 2, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 8, 7, 7. Well, uh, we have two columns that have entries of 777 seven, seven, the second column and the third column and if I do uh, a row transformation right um, then I will get all the entries will be zero for example uh, 
if uh, if I do an elementary row transformation uh, on say uh, uh, row number two, since they're all seven seven, if I make one seven zero, then the rest of the sevens, for example, will be zero, uh, and uh, this will make the determinant also zero, which will make it not have an inverse. Okay, now if c is two, the last one. If c is two, then we get two, 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 uh, eight, seven, two. Okay, this is again obvious. Uh, this has two equal rows. So if I do any elementary row transformation, uh, it will make entries in one of the rows zero. So if I manipulate these two rows and I try to eliminate one of these, it will make either row number one or row number two all zeros and therefore for the same reason it will have a determinant of zero. Anytime one of the rows or one of the columns are all the same, that just will make automatically the determinant zero and therefore the matrix not invertible. So this does it for this question.